Hey you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Symphony and today I bring you the Scott Family Makeover. So the Scott Family came with the College Living Pack and I don't know technically where they are located. Um, but I decided to give them a makeover because they are one of the pre-made townies of Hanford on Bagley. So reading a little bit about the Scots, um, I just figured that I would go ahead and give this couple a makeover because I think they were like, um, a couple that came from the city and, um, Sarah, the wife wanted to live a more cottage core life. Um, so I decided to give her kind of like a, a, a more cottage core look. I went on TikTok and looked up some like, you know, black girl cottage core styles and stuff like that. And I saw that a lot of girls wore like flowy, frilly, ruffled dresses and their hair down and wavy. And it was just a vibe. It was really cute. Um, so I decided to give her like a more bright um, cottage core look. Um, she kind of looked it bland to me. So I wanted to tweak her out a little bit um, as far as like some of her facial features and um, kind of like brighten up her skin tone um, and to change her hair because she had her hair in like this old um, 1940s look. And I didn't like that for her. I felt like... Um, they really made her boring in a way. Um, when I was going in, I just felt like the hair was definitely not for her. Um, she is, I think she, her and her husband owns the pub that's in um, Hinford on Bagley. And um, I didn't want her to look so boring. I wanted her to actually, you know, take pride in her new cottage core look coming from the city and going into the more country living. <laughs> I don't know how to really explain it, but yeah, um, she came off pretty easily to me. Um, she was really pretty. Like I, I really, you know, wanted her to, to, to be more fun innocence and not so bland because her outfit was okay for like the pub but it wasn't you know my particular style when it came to Sarah Scott um she also had the party animal aspiration um she's outgoing cheerful and self-assured um so I really felt like you know her her vi overall vibe that she wanted to go with when moving to Hanford on Bagley was kind of like this cheerful carefree type and I wanted that to be expressed in the style that I chose for her um when it came to her makeup I had a hard time because I didn't know what direction when it came to like cottage core, um, how they would wear their makeup. So again, I had to look on TikTok um, and see like, you know, the the makeup that a lot of the cottage core um, people, I don't know how to explain them or what to really call them, but you know, the people that like their cottage core styles. I guess, <laughs> um, they were wearing like really natural toned makeup or little to no makeup. So, um, I didn't want to give her, um, you know, really bright, um, tones when it came to her lips or her eyes or her cheeks. Um, I decided to pretty much go completely neutral when it came to Sarah Scott. Um, I think, um, the hair that I gave her, it was like, it was, it fitted her so well. Like it really did. Um, 
enough about that because I, I don't know <laughs> much about cottage core, but I really have fun. I did. I have fun when I created, um, well, gave them their makeover. But um, I'm going to be doing all of the townies of Hinford on Bagley. Um, so that will be coming soon. Um, the reason why I'm doing Hinford on Bagley after um, Willow Creek is because I do have a Let's Play that I'm going to be coming out with. It's kind of like like a legacy challenge in a sense um I'm not going to be doing uh, the challenge to a T but it's gonna include some of the generations of different legacies um in different challenges so like my first um challenge is the lucid legacy challenge I believe and I'm going to be um, doing the farmers challenge for my gen one um, because they're going to start in Hennifer on Bagley um, I haven't decided the fate of my gen two so that will be coming soon in the makings I gotta um, get the writing after I figure out my gen one um, so yeah um, oh that lip gloss is really pretty I hope I keep that. I didn't know. I, I, I made this video a while ago and um, I haven't played with them personally. Um, I think they were trying for a baby. I think I read that, but I'm not sure. Um, but I did want to make her like bright and vibrant. And um, oh, you guys, like when I was doing this, I didn't notice that um, I was creating her look in her winter wear. So I had to go back and redo everything in her everyday wear. It was so embarrassing. I'm just like, oh my God, how could I miss this? So from now on, I'm gonna try to check to see um, how um uh, what outfit I'm actually um, making my sims with because I really did I felt so embarrassed and I wasn't even like I was recording but it wasn't live so I kind of like had self-embarrassment <laughs> But anywho, um, yeah, you guys will see me switch it over um, in just a bit once I realize like I'm just doing all of this um, in her winter wear. I think I noticed it when um, I was doing her clothes because I, I think I saw like not many of the clothes that I had <laughs> were there. So um, I guess my eyes like glanced over and saw that it was like winter. <laughs> So yeah, um, what was I going? Oh, so yeah, I'm making a legacy challenge. Um, and I'm going to start off with my, um, Gen 1, um, with the Lucid Legacy Challenge. Um, I'm not going to finish off with the Lucid Legacy Challenge because Gen 2 for Lucid Legacy is not where I want my Gen 2 error to, um, B because I think it's about content creating um, and on another note I've never seen a legacy challenge that I wanted to completely play through all the way until the last generation um, so I'll just be playing with different ones that I like um, so I hope you guys like that um, I hope I like it <laughs> and wants to continue because I do want a generational family in my save file um, so yeah, um, as you can see, like I did switch over to her everyday wear. I went ahead and pretty much like went back and forth with what I use for her winter wear to her everyday wear. Um, I struggled a bit trying to find her like a dress. Um, I wanted something yellow to match her sunflower earrings, um, I really should have picked that one, but I just felt like when I was making it, um, it didn't go with her outfits, but now that I'm looking at it now, it actually does. Um, I should have chose that. I, I really should have the one with the like checkerboard, um, dress. So yeah, um, Moving on to, I think his name is, what is his name? Simon? I think his name is Simon Scott, um, her husband. Um, he is 
a city boy. Um, and I think he, you know, only went to Hanford on Bagley because um, it, it was to, I guess, um, live out her dreams of living the cottage core life. Oh, that was really pretty. I like that. Um, yeah, living her dreams of living, you know, being, I guess, in the cottage core life. And um, he just went along with it and decided to like, you know, do what he needs to do for his wife, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, and yeah, with his style, it really was interesting as well. They really made him look like the all around bummy farmer. And I didn't like that either. Um, I felt as though his outfit should have, you know, kind of like coincided with him moving from the city. Because I don't feel like everybody is just gonna you know, start from day one in like, you know, the cottage core farmers where I feel like they will still have their own style. So what I tried to do is um, make him look as though he is still living the city life. The city never left him. The city never left from him and he was trying to um, dress according to, I guess, the cultural environment of Hinford on Bagley. Um, yeah, it <laughs> it's a lot like I am brand new to playing with Hinford on Bagley and I'm very excited. So um, I guess. I think we'll start with him in just a second. So yeah, he was like really bland and boring, just like she was. I don't know why their outfits or their facial features was looking like that. Like they looked very weird to me. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so I tried to tweak them out as best as I can while still trying to keep some of their facial features, but still make it my own. Um, he looked at like a complete bum. I'm sorry he did. Um, I really didn't appreciate that. So I tried my best to like really like make him look like he just came from the city and not from eco lifestyle, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I be cracking myself up so sad, like, <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I tried to give him like a comfy, cozy type of look and make him look, you know, a little more appealing to the eye. Um, I tried to make his skin tone look a little bit better than what it did because he was like really, really dark. Um, so I wanted him to still have his you know, skin tone, but like make it a little bit lighter. As you can see, I think this is the original skin tone I went with because this is perfectly fine. Um, at first I wanted to change his body style, but I'm like, uh, he's kind of all right. Like, you know, I, I like different body types in my safe file. Um, so yeah. And, um, I'm ranting a little bit, but <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for my new legacy challenge. I'm going to just call it a generations, my current household generations. And it's going to be like in a um, kind of like a machinima type vibe. So it's going to take me some time to get out the first episode. So I'll keep throwing out some more um, townie makeovers in the process. And I hope you guys enjoy this makeover of the Scott family. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.